This is a classic right. example of F around and find out. Now. What'd you guys have to do to sneak out? Dude, Mike's I am. wedding will for sure have us on dirt bikes driving in. I do hear CJ right. occasionally like in the middle of the night just scream. That's uh, just nightmares. Good Vikings won today, so we're good. Just one in three, baby. <laughs> hey, we're coming back. back. Let's go. We're coming back. Let's go. Support for today's episode comes from One Skin, and I know when you guys are watching the podcast, you can't help but look at me and wonder, how does Ryan stay looking so youthful and uh, keep my glow with such stressful friends? Well, that is where One Skin comes in. Uh, One Skin is the world's first skin longevity company. One Skin addresses health, skin health at the molecular level, targeting the root causes of aging so skin behaves, feels, and appears younger. It's time to get started with your new face, eye, and body routine at a discount rate today. Get 15% off with the code wide open at oneskin.co. That's 15% off at oneskin.co with code wide open. We only have one body, one skin, and only you can choose to make it better. Age healthy with One Skin. It is the calm before the holiday storm, but you can prepare your e-commerce business for the holiday rush now by using ShipStation. Luckily, ShipStation takes care of your fulfillment headaches, whether you're shipping from your house or a warehouse. ShipStation can help increase your profitability and save time automating your shipping and returns in the ShipStation dashboard and keep costs down with industry-leading carrier discounts. So set your business up today for holiday season success with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code wide open today to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com promo code wide open. There's a time in every business when the problem that you've been ignoring needs to be handled. And if you're getting frustrated with how you're selling online or in person, I can't recommend Shopify enough. Shopify is your no excuses business partner. Sell without needing to code or design. Just bring your best ideas and Shopify will help you open up shop. The best part about Shopify is their award-winning help is there to support you every single step of the way. This is possibility powered by Shopify. So guys, sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash wide open, which is all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash wide open open to take your business to the next level today that shopify.com slash wide open welcome back to 101.5 c boys tv radio you're listening in we got micah salmon over here someone, Benjamin Roth. someone intro it that was my intro <laughs> Did you not like my intro? The I didn't, like, Sandman. I didn't like it. Welcome it. back to 101.5 The Sandman. I just felt like I was listening people to listen. FM radio. And it well, was, that's what I was like, going People for. in their car right now are like, what the hell? Oh, what the, <laughs> did I just turn the radio back on? to FM? <laughs> Before we continue on with the radio show, we got to do 55 minutes of ads. I love that. You'd you love know, that, the radio you, shows man? that are I like. I would do. Yeah. You ever listen to the fucking radio? It's all ads. You guys should be thanking yourselves. You said you only get a few minutes. That's true. I agree. We could take the approach like some of the FM stations, they do all their ads in like their out uh, all the ads that they have to do in an hour in like, you know, fifteen minutes. You ever have to drive to work like during that time and they, it's just solid Yeah. You guys ever watched uh, a football game and realize that the majority of the football game is, is commercial Bro. break? Yeah. Hold on. They drop the football. Let's go to a commercial break. Well, yeah, why not? Yeah. I just was at the gas station filling up. Oh, two funny things. I'm in the mini truck. Ken, Ken's dad comes up to me and just goes why are you driving around this piece of shit? <laughs> I'm like, oh. actually, yeah. You tell and, him it's not, and I wasn't Did you like, say a, this is my vehicle. Yeah, I wasn't like offended, but I go, I like driving it. You should have just been like, I don't get paid as much as your son. <laughs> <laughs> you go, so oh, that shit. was good. And then I look up a couple of Harley riders driving by, like these are like full blown, you know, nice paint, full blown bagged Harley, whatever. Speakers. Everything. Guys got leather on. Good. Guess what he's jamming to? Like, yeah, speakers playing out loud. Uh, 101.5 Already got the TV apple radio? bottom jeans Booth with the fur really? He's going fur? through Corm- Cormorant But it's just like You know the song Did it's not match the man. homie That's but embarrassing No he was owning it He was really? like Yeah smile on I don't think oh, I could cool, ever man. do that man Even Same. if it was a great song It's just That's a little much So that's kind of what I was like Getting at too Was like yeah the, When you're playing like uh, ACDC it's like, I don't know. I, I think it's cool. They put some loudspeakers on those Harleys. But, Dude. yeah, you can't really get away with listening to much else than, like, hard rock. Bro, yeah, I was, I was on my way country. to the shop the other morning, too, and there was okay. a guy. We were stopped at a red light, and the, the guy right in front of me was on a big bagger. They had big speakers, which is weird. You don't really see somebody riding a Harley at, like, 7.30 in the morning. I was on my way. Uh, you weren't coming to work at 7.30. I was, I was coming here he to edit. going home. <laughs> anyway, this guy's listening to music, and... He'd start listening to a song and then change it. Start listening to a oh, song and no. change it. And and like it's like somebody just sitting in their car, like flipping through yeah. their, the you shuffle. know, Were you the shuffle. Like a ch- you can hear this. But like he was, yeah, song. yeah, every single song. And he probably went through like 15 songs just like <laughs> trying to find the right one. I, 
can't remember what, what he landed on, but it was like maybe like Ed Sheeran, and then he ripped off, and I was like, what a strange song to land on to Secrets choose. Of events. <laughs> That's like the the tip to to when you're DJing just in front of anyone or playing music where anyone else can hear it, and you start, you're about five songs deep, and you're not finding anything, just go ahead and press pause, you know? Press pause, then people don't have to go, eh, eh. Oh, yeah, like, no, yeah, I feel like songs. you got to at least add to queue when you're yeah, DJing. Or something. Yeah, yeah, if you're you DJing, you got to add to queue. But I'm saying yeah. even in the car, even if out. you're just playing oh. music in the car and you're running into like 10 songs that are just whack, I go ahead and just press pause, pick a song, reset. Reset. Dude. Just collect yourself. Yeah. That's like how my brother was. I used to get a ride with uh, Sam into school every day when I was a kid. And I swear I've never listened to a single song through. Oh, like, really? Yeah. ADHD type of like. Just oh, dude, changing, just you know? like even if it's a good song that I know he likes or like a band that he likes, halfway through, change the song. Interesting. It just always drove me nuts. You guys really? ever listen to New Music Friday? Oh, like on Spotify yeah. or Apple Music? Yeah. yeah. Me ever like roll no, through never. that place? No, it's never good. It is I feel awful. Like it's, lately, it's gone it's downhill been lately. So bad. Lately, it's been terrible. Alex and I yeah. were just talking about that couple days ago it's like dude there's no good music out yeah. right now maybe when people put out like tv shows or movies or youtube videos like maybe they know they're like and hey, this isn't my best work but it'll you know it'll get us through the next season type of deal right what the f some some music is so bad and it's on new music friday and i go i can't believe they even thought to release this i think for, it's just limited choices for me it's like so it's i true. see the artists so i'm checking out new music friday i see the artists they have the artist line you know new from doja cat new from whatever mm -hmm. um so i'm like yeah. oh, okay sweet it's gonna be good but it seems like they're just taking all of the top artists and then just giving you whatever they're making but that doesn't necessarily mean it's good right these female rappers are taking Ooh. over. Like, I'll go to Rap Caviar on, on Spotify or one. Get Turned or whatever type of rap. But it's all kind of the same songs. Half of them, female rappers, and they're great. But mm -hmm. I just can't get down with what they're saying because so they're just talking, talking about so aggressive. their pussy basically the whole time. They're wet pussy. <laughs> and, like, all, like I'm, I'm not even kidding you. Like, that's literally, like... The type of shit they're saying, yeah. Yeah. and I'm just riding in the car. I'm yeah. like, "What am I fucking?" And they're like talking about like, you know, just <laughs> yeah, guys not to gonna it. be able to handle them and stuff. I'm like, I can't get down to Probably this. Like, this ain't hyping me up. There's no way you. Yeah, but it's just crazy Sexy how it, it's it's changed <laughs> no, a little no. bit. Like since so like, but uh, since I'm, Rihanna to like now, so Rihanna is about the same thing, kind of. Uh, it makes different but stuff. There was but a now it's taste just, yeah. Now it's just like to the point. I don't point. know, man. I think honestly, it was bound to happen though. Now it's like coming around. And it's like now the girls kind of have that aggressive type of rap that the men used to listen or are are used to listening to because yeah, been what doing you're it for saying a long is time, talking about getting women. You can't or hate money on it. Hoes you and, just can't listen to it. You know, you can't hate on it. Yeah, no, you, know you can't. I mean? like you can't. No, I, I'm equal. not hating yeah, on yeah. it. I'm just saying it's tough for me to get down to. So when I'm trying to find some new music and I'm flipping through all these songs of these girls singing about this stuff. Yeah. So it's a skip, I guess. It's a skip. <laughs> yeah. When you're listening to like uh next, next on like hip hop radio or like top Dude, hip hop a lot or whatever. Of them. They're taking over. They're yeah. killing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's no denying that. I, what I don't fully understand is when you do listen to the radio and they're taking songs like uh, like yeah. when every single word of the song is just beeped out. Right. It, and that's been like, a thing forever. A lot of bad, them up, problem. And yeah, let them, them up, yeah, problem. Yeah. <laughs> it is, that was on the radio, bro. I kind of have a funny story about that, actually. So over at the farm... Uh, we're having lights installed. Oh, that's what we're calling the uh, the new shop, by the, the way. New shop, the new shop. The farm. farm. Yep. Anyway, so we're getting new lighting installed just because it's so dark in there. And uh, Brian's been over there working on a secret project for the last three weeks. So anyways, my buddy Simon, he is an electrician. He actually listens to the podcast. Shout out, Simon. Uh, so he was over there wiring up some lights. Came up to me this week and goes, what the, what's the deal with that Brian guy? <laughs> I go, what, what do you mean? He's like really quiet, and like I was just surprised by his music taste. <laughs> and I go, Bro. "Oh yeah, he's a big hip hop guy because I think he just goes on serious and lets it run." Yeah, but he's Pandora. listened to or Pandora, and he's listened to so many full rap songs soon, like through that. I guess when Simon walked in, it was Cardi Wap. B, yeah. WAP, and Brian was just listening to it, and Simon was like, "What?" Like he didn't really know what to do, and and he just listened to it full through, and, and he was just surprised that. And then it moved on to some. Then other it moved really on, to, yeah. But in, in in his defense, I uh, had that thought, but a little smaller, multiple times 
week in, week out when he first started with us, I was like, man, the dude listens to no, anything. He loves hip-hop, everything. man. But especially hip-hop. Yeah. But I mean, like, just anything. And then I'm, I hear a song, I go, Brian's listening to this. Little and then it baby, would happen again, yeah. and I go, Little he's Wayne. listening to this. Okay. Pretty much any artist with Lil in front of it. He's got good shop beats, you know. Yeah, you he does. walk in wherever he's working, it's just a nice like. No, it, it is basin. all kinds of music, but it was just funny to me because uh, he was like, "Yeah, like was kind of taken off guard." I walked in, and he was listening to Cardi B, and it's also <laughs> yeah, like all that rap music going on doesn't you know doesn't bop his head maybe even. No, once. I don't think he's no. even really listening to it. I think he's just <laughs> just so working focused on the, on the wrench. Man. Yeah, he's focusing on that wrench, man. Just background music, wrenching. Ken, I have some videos on uh, your laptop. Put them nice, neatly in a folder in the middle. So, um, so you can't, can't mess up it. and get bullied by Mike. Videos. What else are you doing I'm gonna be, laptop, I'm right? being nice to that Ken in this it. podcast. Okay, Can that's the wrong folder. That, right. that's, <laughs> that's Mike's social what, what security you number. First? You know what? Surprise me. You got to give him clear instructions. Just top <laughs> one. Mike, you just have to throw I, I that know. in, didn't you? Although, I was, uh, when I was operating your computer today, do you have your mouse sensitivity turned up higher? Yeah, way up there. Yeah, so it, that's why it's so fucking hard much. to operate. For what I do every day, it's super nice. What are you he doesn't doing have to move there? his finger much. <laughs> He's using paint. He's just going like this. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't even have to That's move it. He just angles his, <laughs> angles his finger. It's like, like the old little, IBM. The track ball yeah. in the middle that was always yeah. so intense. You could never. I always thought those were lit. Okay, here we go. This is a classic right. example of F around and find out. Have you guys heard about this? Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw this in the I news, but I didn't really want to dig in I too haven't. deep as being a kind of a YouTube prankster. Yeah. <laughs> it felt, a little, felt a little dark. Yeah. This Something already the- tells me whatever this guy's doing that, that you know, was shot. Uh, will never be anything close to what we're doing. Honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I've seen worse. It was unjustified uh, capping? Yeah, I definitely don't think he should have gotten shot. It was unjustified capping. Unjustified caps were popped. We Roll do want clip. to warn you that viewers might find this video disturbing. Huh? What? What's that? What's that? No. No touch though to the prank. Unfortunately. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's unjustified. Whoa. Still. You just shot him in the middle of the mall. Whoa. Twenty seconds. It was twenty Whoa. seconds from the moment Cook approached Coley before Coley pulled yeah, a gun. So and fast shot him. too. But I feel Coley's like you've got to kind of pick your defense. And since this happened, oh, the social media world oh. has really gotten He's behind okay. Coley. Saying okay. That was the lamest fucking prank. Fuck that what, guy. what was he doing? He was just harassing that guy. That's all he was doing. It's not even a good prank. Just pops him, dude. Cameraman got it, too. Got to give him credit. <laughs> Cook, for his part, says he plans to continue making his YouTube prank videos. It gives YouTubers a bad rep. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> Definitely don't think of me he should have gotten shot. I don't know what the prank was. But it didn't really look like there was that much finesse. I, it, or maybe was that funny? There was no finesse at all in that. <laughs> just shoved what was, he was just face. shoving the phone in the guy's ear, and then the guy pushed it down, and he did it again, and then he pushed it down, I, get, I think, one more time, and he did yeah. it again. He shouldn't have shot him, but he should have punched him in the nose. Yeah, there is. Or even, so I'm, I'm just wondering, like, as a, uh, you know, a guy with a conceal and carry, I mean, I know it's like you're in a mall. You can't just pull it out. But it's like, where's the, like, what if you pulled it out and been like, dude, don't mess with me, like, I think that guy here. might have had something wrong with him. Just yeah, I know. I just... feel like you got to pick who you're pranking because if you prank really whack looking dudes like that guy looked like it was his first time out of the house in a couple of years. Yeah. You might get shot straight up. That was the worst prank I've ever seen. <laughs> that was the worst prank I've ever seen. Do you think they like high fived and stuff like that after he's like, fuck yeah, we dude, got, we got a banger. <laughs> that, that was a lot better than anything they would have gotten. I'll tell you that. So that's what actually got been, shot. That, that was what I was going to say is like, so had he not gotten shot, had this not get on the news, like we ain't never heard hearing of his content. So I don't know if this is actually his, this his is username, username, but if it's, this is my username, that like is, it has a shitty bad. username too, even. I think I it's know. like that's Tanner kind of, that's, Cole or something that's like that. Look like, it up. Oh, use, use your computer and not look up lie. who it was you know what X, happened to him. You know on Xbox and PS4 yeah, when yeah, you had well, like a YouTube, name man, with not, no numbers and no underscores? You guys still remember your Xbox gamer tech? My first I one do. was, was Unwary Meteor. It was, <laughs> it, was, it was one of the first, like, you know when you just, like, you couldn't think of a name, so you did a random one? Yep. I just wanted to get to playing. Yeah. Unwary Meteor popped up, took it, 
And uh, yeah, I changed it probably two years later. Nice. So classified goons. How many subscribers does he have? I didn't get that far on it. He has 57K. Okay. I wonder if he's gone up recently. 39 videos. Detained at the airport four weeks ago. Damn. Hasn't posted in a while. I got shot two months ago. 242K. Man, that's... One of his highest viewed videos. That's good. tough getting shot for 240,000 views. Angry guy. Chargers cameraman. I think it's just more so... You know what's kind of wild? Obviously, if it's entertaining, it is. And if it isn't, it isn't. But uh, you got people like out there making fake, like, uh, neighbor stole my dirt bike because he was so mad. And yeah. then they, they... Those are like the older era of YouTube, but they garnish like 10 million views or yeah. more. And then that one's like fully legit, got shot yeah. during his YouTube career. Yeah. And pulls less than <laughs> deliberately yeah. filming in people's faces prank. Mm. Yeah, I, I already like, don't like it. I already don't like, like it's it. just no wonder you obviously you're purposely trying to piss people off, and that's the video is like when they get mad. I just don't think that's funny. Yeah. Support for today's episode comes from One Skin, and I know when you guys are watching the podcast, you can't help but look at me and wonder, how does Ryan stay looking so youthful and uh keep my glow with such stressful friends? Well, that is where OneSkin comes in. OneSkin products are all powered by the revolutionary OS1 peptide. This peptide is scientifically proven to target aged, also called sentient cells, which is a central source of skin aging. Their scientists have shown that they can actually reduce the biological age of skin by several years in their groundbreaking research. I have to admit, Skincare isn't at the top of my priority list every single day, but I love that one skin only takes two steps and it helps my skin look and feel younger at the cell level. It's not a bunch of baseless claims. It actually works. Uh, one skin is the world's first skin longevity company. One skin addresses health, skin health at the molecular level, targeting the root causes of aging. So skin behaves, feels, and appears younger. It's time to get started with your new face, eye, and body routine at a discount rate today. Get 15% off with the code wide open at one skin.co. That's 15% off at one skin co with code wide open we only have one body one skin and only you can choose to make it better age healthy with one skin support for today's episode comes from ship station it is the calm before the holiday storm but you can prepare your e-commerce business for the holiday rush now by using ship station luckily ship station takes care of your fulfillment headaches whether you're shipping from your house or a warehouse ship station can help increase your profitability and save time automating your shipping and returns in the ship station dashboard and keep costs down with industry leading carrier discounts while your holiday orders roll in now is the time to switch to ship station if you've been on the fence they're hooking you up with a free 60 day trial and 90 Eight percent of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. So, really, do you guys need much more convincing? Ben and I were the first to start using ShipStation, but once Ken took over fulfillment, he stuck with it. ShipStation saves us up to eighty-four percent on shipping labels, so we can pass those savings along to you guys. And if you have your own business or want to start one, I seriously cannot recommend ShipStation enough. So, set your business up today for holiday season success with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code Wide Open today to sign up for your free six. 60 day trial that shipstation.com promo code wide open man okay so like seven years ago it was like right when we started making yeah, we videos told this yeah. story and there was some couple from the like the town that we were going to Not school far from us yeah the guy was holding like a big thick book and he had his girlfriend shoot phone book, him phone book big, was it a phone, phone book? book yeah it was a, it phone, was a book. phone book the girlfriend shot him with like a uh, with desert a eagle, fifty cal, F yeah, or 50 cal. a desert eagle. Was Sorry, a I, whatever that cal. That was is. a desert eagle, and he died. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, they Obviously. did it for a YouTube video, yeah. And then we were getting contacted, like as a YouTuber, like, like yeah. what do you guys think of this? And we we're like, uh, we think it's a. A terrible what? idea. <laughs> yeah. What is that even supposed to mean? Yeah, I what remember they, the news like dragged us for it. They were like, YouTubers doing anything for views. And yeah. then it was like us jumping the road or something like that or but, just our daily shenanigans. Yeah, we we're like, what? <laughs> you can't Since even compare when? us Man. to someone like that. That's desperate when you're shooting the phone shooting a phone book <laughs> but it's like so oh, it's one man. of those things like we like to do full send things and i'm not talking anything about that but you know how then we we come up with our huge idea it gets bigger it gets smaller but for that one there's not a whole lot of factors phone book gun shoot you could have maybe nuts. tested could have maybe not used a yeah. desert eagle <laughs> yeah probably could have maybe tested. not used a desert eagle yeah. i mean yeah. like yeah maybe they only just had set one, it there yeah, yeah they only had one phone book they're like we only got one take at this oh man yeah, yeah sad, wait, sad situation it is but, it is but, but um make too much like yeah it. i don't know though i mean there's like a couple people in the area that have you know tried to make youtube videos as well 
and like prank style videos very similar to that where they're extremely very distasteful and like disrespectful like mm-hmm. blatant dis- blatantly disrespectful and like involving cops and like trying to do like certain things like that where then we always we catch it catch wind or uh, catch heat because of other youtubers in the area like doing things that are you know yeah, yeah pretty disrespectful Give the job a bad name yeah not saying that you know we're perfectly squeaky clean and don't do stupid shit too. Yeah, but <laughs> it's just exactly. like it's always like, damn man, it's always tough, especially yeah. with like the golfing shit too. Like, oh yeah, on one of the last uh, reckless golfing videos, like we caught a bit of heat because other people were apparently like doing it. I don't. They never even said yeah. like reckless golfing. They were just saying, you know, people are getting wild on the golf courses in car- the area. One of our neighboring courses carts got totaled. Yeah, it, it was like a couple months after the we video. Were like, we were like, July. bro, what? yeah, it was a probably a bachelor party. We're like, we're not the first people to go out on a golf course and like... We were probably the first people to do it sober though. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Ken, play, uh, pop up that video that I sent you. Man, this oh is this is God. tough. Oh yeah, this, this is, is so bad. tough. All right, I'm like coming this is into awesome. a wedding. I want to do this. party. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro! I love how he that, just picks her right up. Everybody how is, bad is that, dude? The uh, I, I, that's it, a vibe kill. There was a couple <laughs> angles of it, mm-hmm. and it was this angle that I noticed he was riding a Harley. Like yeah, how do you the dude that? had That's to have rev that thing up and drop the, the clutch. What was his plan? Either way, like it's yeah. not like you can just like very subtly wheelie a Harley in a small <sighs> confined area and then put it back down. I'm I would have sure thought the tire would have spun out. Me too. I'm yeah. sure that's probably what he thought. Yeah. And I don't think he took into account that there oh, with a passenger there was more on weight the on the back. So your your traject your thing. I don't know that's if you what it was. Point. Totally the the passenger. Like otherwise it would have just spun. We blame the passenger for the guy <laughs> wheeling over backwards. I don't think in that angle you can see it very clearly but uh the the gal obviously gets absolutely bodied and then the guy is like stands up and and like tries to like spin her around and do like a like a dance move afterwards to and save the, it and the, yeah to save it and the woman's like dude fuck out of here no, you trying to like you, there's no coming back from that yeah, like actually how do you doing? come back take from a, that take a seat and say i'm sorry to the crowd and i'm especially sorry to the girl that i just bodied especially yeah. because it's likely that it was like one of the bride's friends yeah, and he was one of the groom's friends yeah it's not like they were like with. boyfriend and girlfriend and they're like yeah. they can have a fight about it later she was just some random lady that had to get on the back with jimmy dude that's <laughs> that always a bad. tough tough spot pretty much every wedding i've ever been in or gone to where they do like the bridal party coming in and and they have to do like a dance or something like that very rarely is it like show-stoppingly good I yeah i cringe at for the, the idea crowd of, like, always it's always when that day comes like what do you what do, do you have do? to do it like, like i don't oh, know if i, I don't know if i would yeah, do we it have, to you we guys. did it with justin yeah, right 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 i, I don't even know what i did when i walked times, i just blacked but... out i just blacked out i got nervous there was like 50 people looking at me <sighs> and it's <laughs> the worst part is <laughs> like, <laughs> everyone i mean at least at justin's wedding everyone chooses like the whitest dance moves ever yeah yeah or like shotgunning a beer yeah, like it's always so cringe though every time we're gonna this is what i remember doing should we go back to back like spin around and then put up like pistols yeah, classic. Ah, yeah, be a classic, but I had a pretty good one though. The last wedding I was in, my uh my friend Sam was a farmer, and so I put on like overalls and got like pushed in on a toy tractor. Oh, you had that's to change. Good. So that's I good. literally didn't have to do anything besides for just sit on this toy tractor and then like the the gal like pushed me in and I got to kind of like roll pretty low so like you know everyone's sitting at their tables kind of just <laughs> looking at her and and everyone was just seeing looking at her head. and I, yeah they could probably just see like the top of my head just going by <laughs> yeah that's pretty good but it took prior planning yeah, exactly I was that's like, the way prior to do planning it. any of them would be good next but. time i'll bring a harley yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i can get in quick get to the spot no i, I love speed. that based on that video i like saw the first dirt biker going i could see the other bikers coming in i go i love the idea i would love to do that probably won't then i saw the guy loop out dude next i next wedding will I, for sure have us on dirt bikes driving in yeah, yeah what? Like, <laughs> as long as you guys are down what would be like a a pretty solid entrance 
that wouldn't be cringy and you're kind of s- not setting people up for failure. Skydiving. That'd be pretty or sick. Like, <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd good. Be or like sick. run in and throw like a bunch of like fake $100 or, or what if, pump, what if, what like, if the first person going in, you hit them with a flash grenade and, and then, then everybody and else, then everyone else runs in and then everyone's once in. everyone is like, oh, what the heck? All the smoke clears. Everyone's <laughs> sitting oh, at hey, the front. Do you, do? <laughs> you, you, want a, you want a flash <laughs> bang or a smoke grenade? Both. Oh, <laughs> hit them with a the double whammy. By so, the time they come to, wedding's over. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> everyone get on the bus. So I know you guys like don't want to go back to college, but there is a degree. Well, we can't. We're, nice we're literally we're banned from not, going back to college. Not true. I mean, how many colleges are there? Apply somewhere else. That's Jeez. true. <laughs> there is a university that is officially offering a full degree. No. Yes, what a joke. To become no. an influencer. And I can tell you They're already. Making money off all these people, huh? Yeah. This is to me like a degree where it's kind of like a lottery. Um, obviously the work you put in and your creativity are a massive part of it. But it, when you go to school to be a doctor, you most, and you finish the program, you will become a doctor somewhere. That's a good point. It, and it is kind of like graphic design or anything in the arts. Like y- you could do jack shit with your graphic design degree, or you could go work for like Nike. Yeah. You know, it, it is kind of a lottery and this is like, I'm not saying this is a full failure, but what a joke. You're either going to be one or you're not. You can't go to school for it. I feel like that's the new communications degree or like university studies degree. Like you, yeah, sense. wait, Your they buddies. should blend this in with like a, a marketing. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then you can just go run the Facebook page yeah. for like some and, and then until local you're, business. That's kind of how it is. Until you're ready, you can then freelance. That's essentially what being an influencer <laughs> is. It's like a freelance marketer. I mean, of, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> that's funny. Man. That is a good point. I hate the word influencer. Me too. Same. Same. I do not want to be associated with that. Should we come up with a new one? I go by podcaster now. That's pretty respectable until they listen to the podcast. And it's <laughs> <laughs> I never have liked the word podcast. I think it's weird. Kind of just gives me like an icky feeling. What a strange thing to say on a podcast. Really? Right? I, don't I, say, do, you know, I do like remember. Podcasts, huh? you know, the word. I had an iPod Nano, so you couldn't have like TV shows or whatever on it. Yeah, but could. I remember it had podcasts and I, I remember like downloading something because I was trying to like get a like Family Guy or Simpsons and... And I looked it up and I ended up downloading a podcast I had something to do with it. I'm like, oh my God, like I, I think I worked. I can watch it now. I click it and it was just them talking yeah, and about oh, stuff. It was just the audio. And I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> Why would anyone want to listen to this? Exactly. And that was like years ago. I mean, that would have been like yeah. 2007. Yeah. Podcasts have been a thing for a very long time. It's just now recently so popular. I feel like life was more fun when you had to hack your phone to make it do the things you wanted to do. Oh, like jailbreak? Jailbreak, yeah, dude. Like jailbreaking. Remember laying in bed at night when you're supposed to be sleeping? Oh, you I jailbreak was, your phone and I brick it. I was obsessed it. with it. Mike, yeah, yeah. You I used to jailbreak, right? You should jailbreak it. your phone right now, Mike. I don't do think it. You, live, on I air. Do I don't that. think you can anymore. Is it illegal I bet to you jailbreak But I, Dude, I like... I it always no. was. It's kind of like... No, it's not illegal. I just like, voids the warranty. Yeah, you know? it's oh, like really? putting exhaust on your car. Ben oh, jailbreaks his phone. The yeah. cops show yeah. up. <laughs> jailbreaking was like the the most like simple, and then you can root your Android phone. I did that, yep. and then you can, uh, I think, same term, root your PSP. I did that. And How like, long did these devices? Why can't I last? leave things normal? They they I actually never bricked any of them, and the, the I bricked one. The one that I did, I was able to fix so but it's like dude that that definitely goes to, <laughs> on the same trajectory as me not li- being able to leave anything stock like i, I did jailbreak my phones too like i remember i had my iphone 4 jailbroken and then whatever i had after that but it always ruined your battery so i would like oh, wait yeah. a year yeah, before you have other I'd stuff it. running in it yeah, yeah it would just kind of ruin it but you'd have like infinity scroll or you could do like the android unlock and yeah, yeah. my favorite thing though download was the, music for free was was that the, was the best yeah. it's just weird that they couldn't do it in phones because like in snowmobiles and cars i get it like you they have to put the exhaust on and then as soon as you get the sled you take the exhaust off and put a good one on and be like, yeah, well, this is lighter. It gives me more power. Why wouldn't this just be on from the factory, at least close? Well, there's rules, I guess. Well, I'm sure it's for like emission. Or, well, emission. Sorry. Sorry, I blacked out. It's because like CJ said, when your phone battery would get toasted with it, yeah. it's probably because they just cranked everything up. Yeah. I remember my Android had a feature and it was called like pocket warmer or something <laughs> like that. And it would just like put everything into overdrive and it, your phone would just get really hot. So whenever it's cold, like, you know, like oh. before I'm going to go walk to my mom's car in middle school, like fire that thing up, <clears throat> that it, it get it really, all hot, that, walk to my car, keep my hands warm. Extremely. It sounds yeah. super ill-advised. It sounds like um, 
your uh, your Raptor can actually power uh, an entire like concert event. It just has to run at red light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was maybe not the best idea. S- simpler times. For Ryan and Ken man. were always in tune with like the latest tech of uh, like just phones. Absolutely. Well, Ken still is. That I don't know when the last time I've seen that dude not have a brand new iPhone. That's what I'm wondering. Ken, do you have a 15 on order? I got it last week. Nice. You already have it? You already yeah. have it? You didn't even mention it to us. What? No. All right, bro. So I'm on top of it. I ordered it, for I ordered it the day they come out. I know there's other things I could have done to get it faster, but mine doesn't come for another month at well, least. Yeah, I, Mike, I, because Ken is is one of their most valued customers. Yeah. I, thought I, I thought I didn't order it because it said like the order failed God, or could something. could you imagine? And then, and then I got another email like two days later that it did go through. Ken, and flash it to the camera. Flash it to the camera. Take it off. No case. No yeah, case. Let's flash see, it. Let's titanium. see that thing naked. Wait, when did you unbox mm. that? I swear you just had... You're 14 like a day ago. Whoa. Holy it's shit. It's an iPhone. <laughs> Ken, you should do like a Marcus Brownlee review on it. I could see you doing that. Like yeah, a, we like could put it in this Thursday's gig. video. Yeah. Ken's tech yeah, reviews. Be, yeah, oh my God, bit. Ken's that tech reviews. So, it's uh, an so iPhone. Funny. It'd be so good. That's yeah. it. <laughs> then it's like, hits like, there's a big intro and then it just hits an outro. It's like, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> like screens tech, come in. Tech, fashion. Ken's tech reviews. But it's you're, a different color. It's... Seems like that's the only difference. I've been waiting for the time that Apple has like a, you know, their big release of an iPhone and there's like a projector on it. Like Remember that when they goes up on the wall and is, and is like, like so groundbreaking and they make it a new shape. Like I envision them making it like the pear shape back the in iPhone. Phone. I, yeah. I, like in iCarly days and like, that'd be sick. I would hate that. <laughs> yeah, it would suck, but it would just be nice to like, just have, have something, something different. New. Yeah. You know? And then you'd have the purist like Ken coming out and being like, "You got the pants. I don't like the way that it feels in my hand, Fuck. but it's brand new." <laughs> For me, it's just like I just want all the memory and a good camera. Do they still make Blackberries? I don't think so. Nor that should, would be nor should they. I think those went bankrupt a while ago. Ken, you should really? get a BlackBerry. That'd be a flex. Did that you ever have one, Ken? BlackBerry? No, never did. I had a BlackBerry. Really? It was a hand me down from my dad, and and it. Felt as cool as the day I got my first pair of Etnies. They do still have them. <laughs> they yeah, do. They yeah, I felt like a cool guy with a BlackBerry, and it was a good text on like a yeah, full, like yeah. without having to like double tap. And the I'm letters. like, dude, I, c- I had a stylus in there too, and I'm like, I can go on the internet. It was not enjoyable. It was like it was like having to jump through hoops to to oh. go on the internet. It was like going on the internet on the PSP. It was just like that. Yeah. They say it's a secure, it's a secure phone. Oh, so they're coming with so, a different approach. So that was why they're like, it sucks, but it's secure. <laughs> Interesting. You know, yeah, someone should buy one and then just have it. Come on, my kid. backup phone where everyone that I don't know there calls. There you go. Yeah, You're, if you get a business phone, make it a BlackBerry. We have a video coming out on Thursday. I think it's potentially our most viral video that we've ever made. And I'm very excited for you guys to see it. Oh, my God. Honestly, I'll just tell you. We hired 100 people to mow our lawn, and it worked fantastic. It was super efficient. It was was so efficient. Fun from start to finish. Just a bunch of people with the same passion. Dude, it was was a beautiful sight. It was a beautiful sight. I drove by the farm, and I I smiled again just looking at how good the yard looked. It looks so good. That's the other thing. It's not a hack job. You can't replicate 100 talented people. You couldn't have done that with a pull-behind Full size tractor in the time that we did it with a hundred no. John Deere. Just ten minutes to mow ten acres. It's pretty pretty good. good. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing good. is I'm uh, not hundred percent sure, but I think it's pretty good. It was like satisfying. It was like yeah. one of those ASMR things, you know, where they like almost video game perfect. too. Yeah, it was it was beautiful. Yeah, that was, was electric. We were just laughing though because like we we went from uh, one shop to the other, and uh, we were like, man, the neighbors got to just be like, what the. F- what is going, going on? on? Imagine we would have just stopped at some random person's house and done their yard in one second. <laughs> yeah, no yeah. one would even have literally just been like, yeah. everyone get in position and, then and turn, turn it on. It on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm, all right, turn it off. Let's go. Large handful of those guys that they were there on Saturday go. We got to make this an annual thing, man. They had a they blast. Were just stoked. Yeah. Well, yeah. We need to have them come back every two weeks. I had a blast too, honestly. It was no, bro. Fun. That's what CJ was saying. How we like, okay, we have them come back. We like do it again, and then pretty soon, like it's just a thing. Like we're not even there. Yep. Do do the thing. Mow the field every month. <laughs> Gave you the pointers. Now you just got to do it on your own. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
there's a time in every business when the problem that you've been ignoring needs to be handled. And if you're getting frustrated with how you're selling online or in person, I can't recommend Shopify enough. Shopify is your no excuses business partner. Sell without needing to code or design. Just bring your best ideas and Shopify will help you open up shop. Shopify grows with your business no matter how big or far you grow thanks to an endless list of integrations and third-party apps. Anything you can think of from on-demand printing to accounting to chatbots, everything you need to revolutionize your business. If you've ordered from Seaboys TV in the past, you've ordered from a Shopify website that we designed by ourselves. Uh, I love that it's easy for you guys to shop, and I love that it's easy for us to keep your guys' information safe during checkout. The best part about Shopify is their award-winning help is there to support you every single step of the way. This is possibility powered by Shopify. So guys, sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash wide open, which is all lowercase. Go to Shopify shopify.com slash wide open to take your business to the next level today that shopify.com slash wide open you guys see that uh new york is underwater i did see that uh, i alarming. heard about it how bad is that like what do they mean by underwater? it looks bad so i watched casey neistat's video and the way he described it is the whole city was not like this not like the whole island of manhattan is under bus deep water but there was parts where it got out of hand Oof. They're just uh, yeah, laughing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, this oh, is the craziest sketch. part. You got to remember that half of New York City is underwater. The whole subway system. So like, is the whole subway like system filled to the brim? You no, know, so it didn't uh, happen. Uh, what, what's that one movie? Day of Tomorrow? No, The Day no, After Tomorrow. The Day yeah. After Tomorrow. It didn't happen like that style where it filled well, but that up. Was a that's tsunami. what I was envisioning. That was well, a like, tsunami. Th- what the water is dripping on right there, is, that's electricity. That That's what moves the train. Classic. But what, it looked what pretty it? fucking chaotic. It Just basically didn't stop raining. Downpour? Yeah, it rained for seven days straight in New York City. Oh, wow. Is what Casey Neistat said. Oh, wow. Um, there is this really crazy video that's not, unfortunately, in this. It's of the walls in the subway station are just like, it like split. And it's just like geysering Whoa. out of it. Pretty confident in a lot of vehicles' capabilities and what they can do. And driving through water is one of them. But I do remember... Um, a similar, like, you know, streets flooded. I remember Jake, uh, was, he actually had his mom with him, but they were driving in his mom's outback, an older <laughs> one. And it, you know, air, water in the intake, like if it gets in the intake, it's up at the yeah, edge of the good. hood. It, it completely bricked the whole motor, you know, like locked it water up. in, he locked, locked it up. up the yeah, motor. yeah. You can drive through water, but like, just know where your intake is. Like th- these things don't have snorkels. Like if it goes in, you're just going to be yeah. stuck and you're going to have a blown up car and you're going to be stuck in. The SEMA truck would have been be good out there. Yeah. Yeah. That's or what I would have been saying. Untouched. Or the donk. Where's the, the donk would have been fine. Oh, yeah. yeah that's that's Where's the air filter? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. With though. the tall tires. Like yeah. Oh. <laughs> Unlike the air filter. I think my there truck go. will go through like 32 inches of water. That's, that's right. pretty good. Stock. Wow. That truck shouldn't be going down the road, man. That you all. just don't I'm know how to drive. It shouldn't, that thing shouldn't be on the road without water. <laughs> how do you think your truck handles, Ryan? I mean, I don't know. I think fine. That's what yeah, matters, right? Yeah, it is. Sorry. Sorry, carry on. Sorry. Ain't no goddamn Lamborghini. Sorry. Just kidding. Can, does it, can your Tesla go in deep water? What like happens? That. They, they say that like it can go shortly, and then it's going to destroy all the electronics. How, how short are we talking? Like a couple minutes underwater? Like you shouldn't drive underwater. I thought but can we, we should what, test but what that about like and that get an actual definitive answer for the people. Yeah, like it, it's going to destroy everything. Let's go out there right now and see how long it can do underwater. What, why? It's all watertight. Yeah, but like all the stuff that controls all the stuff that's watertight. Are, water tight are we isn't. talking Bro. fully submerged? Are we talking like this New York flood? Like you drive through, like I, I saw yeah. videos where like people drove their Teslas through that and then it like just bricked it. Oh. Like it still turned on, but it wouldn't drive. What about when it rains? Well, then it's fine. It's not like submerged in water. There's no like you, you can drive anything it. when it's like just raining, but you submerge it in water and it's going to like water's going to get into spots that it's not supposed to be. It would be really cool if you could like just you straight can, up drive those things like on the you can drive a boat. It should be that way, dude. You, you can drive a boat on the water, but try flooding it. It's not going to work. Do you know they're actually making electric boats now? Like I saw, an, I saw Natik now has a fully electric wakeboard boat. <gasps> really, but that's pretty sick. But also, like I don't know what that would look just like. The but yeah, charge, cool. Wait, like they, yeah. they sell it. Huh. It's they sell like it now. Three hundred grand for whoa. That's pretty standard now for a, yeah. But for like, like a, 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 a normal boat. gas boat, I think that boat starts at like a hundred and oh, something. Oh okay. damn! So yeah, it's, I mean, it's like you're effectively doubling the price. Wow, that's pretty cool though. I can't think of many 
downsides to it besides for besides obviously having to like charge it back up. <laughs> it's still been so interesting. The whole like tab. I, I got the electric lawnmower and everyone's yeah. like electric. What you got? Ele-. No, I feel like they're so, good. It's just a battery then. And then I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I use it and it's super quiet. And I thought the battery was going to like not last that long, but I could probably like mow my lawn four times with one battery. Really which just blew me away. Um, it just all comes down to just like how TVs have came down cost. It just all comes down to the battery. The smaller, more powerful, faster they can make batteries, and the faster they can charge. Dude, if it gets better and better, then not much bad to say about electron, ele- yeah. electric. I think it'd be cool to ride a electric snowmobile. I know they make Same, those. It'd yeah. be sick when Polaris comes out with one of those. Yeah. I think the what isn't that. what isn't electric right yeah, now right. that like one day will be like like what are they like besides I guess like trains and planes. Well, they make electric trains. Well, yeah, yeah I guess they, they just make don't electric do electric trains too. here. But the electric trains are those are powered. Those don't have batteries. Those are powered. Yeah, they through. do. They do both. Wow, interesting. All right, I really don't uh, stump me on that one. I don't know like what I saw. It's a matter uh, of time. Yeah, I saw a tweet that said, "Thank goodness they invented cars." Could. Because could you imagine waking up your horse at 3 a.m. to go to your chick's <laughs> house or go to a girl's house? I never, was like, never thought about that. That's funny. MFers in like 1938. <laughs> I think there guys, was cars then. What did you guys have to do to sneak out? Like be anything? very quiet. Okay. Mike, yeah. you'd have quite the hike if you were sneaking out in the yeah, country. Yeah, where were you going? How, I Dude, mean, anywhere, bro. Like, well, I mean, walking or were no, you hopping a car? That's what I, mean. so I did the typical uh, car, put it car neutral, push the car as far and you know like as hard as i could but as far as away as i could then start it yeah i i, I did that a couple of times and then i got an exhaust then uh, it, then and it, it, it just bit cause. me in the butt yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just loud man you hate that's what cost. i should say I still, <laughs> yeah, I still did that when i had an exhaust and then i remember being like this is this not is quiet bro <laughs> ken had that tesla Ooh. back oh, in the day man. you could come and go creeping as, man please dude, dude. just Besides for the reverse, yeah. Ooh. Except for Ken's you, parents didn't to. care; he could leave whenever he wanted, anyways. Well, Ken's always been a full-grown man, you know. That's <laughs> yeah, the nice part about even as a boy, <laughs> yeah, an adult, and honestly, relatively responsible too. You know, it's like, what are you going to go to? Well, I don't know. So how do did something? Yeah. Okay, something. Well, fun. How did you sneak out, Ben? Like, what was your process? Push it a couple times, and then I got an exhaust, which made it harder. Oh, one time I I took my dad's bike. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Like bicycle. And came back and he was like awake, which was tough because then I had to like sneak his bike back in. <laughs> Wait, I remember you saying that. Yeah. That's what, like, we yeah, bike, to a go pedal bike. It. Gosh, I didn't, I don't think I ever got caught sneaking out though. Really? I just remember having the one time where like, this is actually why overall in my life, I, I dislike light sleepers because both my parents were light <laughs> sleepers. You know, I am not like, I have nothing truly against you as a person. I'm just like, oh, man. <laughs> I just don't like just, you. Dude, just come on, sleep a little sleep. harder. But yeah, both my parents were light sleepers. And I just remember one time he was just standing, and he's a tall guy standing in the kitchen, towering over, silent. And I'm like, I'm I'm serious. I'm like not making, yeah, very quiet, like walking through the kitchen like this. And he's just standing there watching me look like an idiot. And then he just goes, <laughs> what are you doing? And I'm, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm caught. I'm caught. I'm in trouble. How did big he, a trouble were you in? You know, the typical, like, I just, just like grounded for a week. Did he yell at you then or did he make you go back to bed and then uh, speak with you I later? I it was like a mutual, like, I knew. Yeah, you knew. Like, I fucked up. Yep. Yeah, it was mutual. My what were you doing? My, uh, I just did not like to come home when they asked me oh to, so you, you were know, just come, come home yeah, late. Come, yeah it was always oh it, you didn't have to wake up i should say oh no yeah it's tough dude. dude it's like rarely did they not let me mm. go somewhere or or like rarely did i ever really have to sneak out or m- maybe dared but yeah it was always like be home at one that's reasonable all right sweet i'll be home at 4 a.m <laughs> like you've just hated <laughs> 4 authority your entire life. I think I've just hated like uh, time frame. Yeah, sure. Like, <laughs> scheduling. Like scheduling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I always had to wake my parents up. Uh, dude, I hated doing that. Would you, you like walk in the room and you? They're already asleep, and yeah, you. you they just want to know you're home, but yeah. they're asleep, and you feel kind of bad waking them up. And then every time, no matter how quietly I would try to wake my mom up and like Scary. nicely, yeah. I just like you know maybe tap on the door. 
Hi, hi, mom. I'm home and your dad wakes up. What? What the hell? What the hell's going on here? And he like flicks on the like. Oh, okay, it's just you. You're home. You're home. Now you're scared. You're like shit. I did. Thought I just gave and my, my mom favorite a heart part attack. is that's all happening. Like Same you know, assuming this is a, every time a night that your dad's Ryan, mad because he's not even ha- he's just, he didn't want to hear that you're he home. He's just like now shit. I'm woken up and I gotta <laughs> go back to bed. I gotta get up in the morning. That's what I mean. Like assuming like let's say you're you're ten minutes early. You're doing great and you're yeah, yeah. you're early. You're like I really don't even need to wake him up. Yeah. Then we came up with this uh, the system where they would leave the hallway light on and I would turn the hallway light off when I got home. So then they could wake up, see that the light was off, and then be like, okay, he's home safe. Much more efficient. You just turn it off before you leave? Yeah. (laughs) Turn it off and then walk right back out the door. Like one of those little things that like, uh, goes over the light switch and then it, it like turns the light off. Oh god! I, I can imagine like an Ken, engineer. like Ken would have one in his room, so he doesn't have to get out of bed to turn Ken would bring it to his out. phone. Yeah, if but Ken was a teenager these days, he'd just have it to his phone. He just let me just turn on the hallway light. <laughs> He's got that thing on Frank. smart that is switches. Yeah, something everything would, is on smart switches. I love it. That's what that's I would do though. I would t- I would turn off the light. I would wait. I would just stay. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna pretend to leave now. Actually, leave in an hour. Turn the light off, and then I'm good. Yeah. Or sorry. Turn it, that's if off. you were leaving late. Yeah. For yeah. sure. I don't even know if I snuck out really ever. Maybe one time from my parents' house. You did, actually didn't really have. You didn't have much. I just didn't. I mean, it, I'd be home at like I can't remember if it was one or two, but like, what else was I gonna do past then? Yeah, it is funny when someone sets a limit. Like you got to be home by one thirty. But even now, I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do yeah. past one thirty? Like Straight it's up. late. I'll go to bed. You know. That's because also like you, you were like more grown up than I was. Like as in like I would like let's say if <laughs> yeah, I was Mike's like going and doing graffiti. No, He's like no. doing exactly what you but, would think. But you're still kid. doing that to this day. It'll be a Tuesday and you're out till four a.m. Yeah, I think it's just like yeah, I don't know. That's just how you are. No, and but I was saying I go like to, back. I in the go day. home at ten. You gotta well, yeah, be like you, man. This you, is you do go suck home at tomorrow 10. morning. Yeah. Like yeah. there has to be because I'm part thinking of you about that tomorrow. Like, Damn, this is for sure. Suck. Yeah, for sure. Really, sure. and it's it's interesting the varying levels to it because yes, I think that yes, I know it's gonna happen. Yes, it does suck. And then I like sometimes Evan can do the same thing, but even on like a higher level, and I'm just like, dude. And that that was his 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 bestest days. He's like, yep, we used to go, and sometimes we'd end up up till let's say four, yeah, five down the bar, and we're, and we're at work at six, seven, and I'm like, that doesn't register. So, Sounds awful. Yeah, there's varying levels to it. But yeah, I mean, totally think that. But in Evan's case, he's the type that can shut down the bar and then do something till 4.30 a.m. and then have to get up at 6.30 a.m. for his job. But he'll do it and then he'll just be like, Ugh, you know, a little groggy, but just like that's through. that's he's just like it. what he, he does. And then the same thing will happen like the night or two nights later and he'll just continue to yep. do it. But he's still like, like even to this day, I mean, when he's, I, I literally don't know what he's doing till 4 a.m. on a random Tuesday around here. The and next with Mike and Cody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what you guys are doing. out on the track at water trucks. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's yeah. Riding golf fun, carts though. around. Yeah, no, yeah. they're having a fun time yeah. for sure. Yeah, sure. and then the next morning, though, Ev never misses a beat. Yeah, right? he's up but at he, 9 a.m. He's, he's, he's up, and he, he's ready for whatever we're doing that day at 9 when the rest of us get to the shop. But Mike is like the polar opposite of that. Like where if we were to let him, he would sleep in until 3.30. Two different types of people. I think you've but. been great, Mike, since you've moved to Fargo. Because now, no, now you're in Fargo, you're not relying on us to wake you up almost. Or I don't know if you were relying, but it would seem like we always had to wake you up. Whereas now it's like on you or maybe just Sydney. Sydney does it. Sydney's like, you need to get up and go to work probably. No, it, it, but no, if, you, you get here probably just as early now. The only other times I'm getting like merch done is like when I just fucking hunker down, stay up till like four. And so some of those mornings that, that it, it seems like, yeah, like I, you know, I'm all right, call it a, call it a night. If I sleep till 10, I'm just like, oh, man, I slept till 10. But also, I'm like, well, I only got, you know, six hours, six hours of sleep. Of sleep. Yeah. And so it's just like, Nothing. this is how, how it is now. But I, I'm like, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. We're all working hard. Like, yeah. you guys put in your, like, time, you know, everyone here is clocked in working earlier than I am and vice versa. I'm yeah, you're sometimes, yeah, oftentimes yeah. here, like, working later. But That's true. I, I feel like six hours of sleep is the minimum. 
Yeah. Like same. Like any Anything like less. like I if I get six, I'm like okay, I'm I'm good. I can keep going. And no matter what, you got to get up and keep going, whether you get two hours of sleep or nine. But like at six, I'm like, you're good. Like you, yeah, you can go, but it's not ideal. I'd say like eight is ideal. Yeah, still eight is like you're good. Mm-hmm. You 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 hit a perfect amount, not over overslept. You didn't get too little. Obviously, it's different for each yeah, person. I think eight is. I think Elon Musk actually says that he sleeps six hours because that's his optimal sleep time because he's trying to make the most out of obviously his time but uh Mm -hmm. have you ever thought mike maybe if you just set a deadline for yourself like the end of the day this needs to be done like this up to this stage and i have to show this work maybe to this person then you would be able to do it within the daytime hours and have more of a normal schedule Instead of stay up late, which I understand, yeah. obviously at yeah. late hours you kind of do have that creativity aspect to it. Because I mean, I used to be the same way. Hundred percent thought that, yeah. But I mean, that's something I've, and you I'm could not try anything to against it. It is crazy. It's like, uh, so you know, Thursdays are obviously great. Thursdays you guys are editing. That's when I get by far the most done during the day. Aside from that, like I don't get very far during the day. I actually do. I'm like, I want to create this energy on any other given day but when we're filming it dude it's yeah it's hard and you guys know how that is like when we're filming it's so hard to go from like okay we're filming this bit from 10 to 3 and then we're at we're getting on another bit uh real quick at 6 it'll be like 6 to 8 i can't get on the computer which i hate i hate it i can't get on the computer and hunker down for like two hours even with a buffer on either side i I I hate it i hate that i can't do that i hate it I couldn't do it either, even if we had some stuff pre recorded just to edit yeah. for three hours. It's too hard to get into the mindset. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense why Remember Thursday is so much easier for you. Yeah, I I love Thursdays. I've grown to love them because like I do. I feel like I'm in a I'm like, look at me being normal. It's like like you know, it's still not super early, but I'm like, look at it, before noon, just working on designs. <laughs> hey Ken, pull up this video. It's the one with the hikers. So a few podcasts ago, it was actually a while ago already, we talked about people getting struck by lightning. And not in this video, but this TikTok has the story of three people getting struck by lightning. In the same group? The same group. So these people were hiking, uh, like Half Dome. I don't know where it is, which I should know. I think it's Yosemite. They apparently tried to climb it in bad weather, and a storm rolled in, and a bunch of them got struck by lightning. But here's like the videos of them hunkering in a cave all started last Thursday when six friends made their way up Half Dome. Once they reached the summit around 1230 in the afternoon, lightning started hitting the rocks around them. (sighs) Two people in the group were actually struck by the lightning, one in the leg and the other in the back of. I don't know what I expected, but I expected more damage. Looks intense. Yosemite looks lit. I'm not trying to get struck by lightning, but that looks like really sweet to climb. So I just remember seeing the videos when the lightning will strike a probably a dead tree and it just explodes and then that's like those few videos of them hitting inanimate objects i'm like i would die so fast and so hard (laughs) i know that's not to minimize their getting struck by lightning but i expected some more damage yeah it's gonna explode a tree it'll fry a whole system but like it just hits you and it just gives you a couple gray hairs or a little like burn mark burn hole yeah like i've gotten burned worse from the cigarette lighter in a car your kid playing around with those yeah Pretty scary though. I don't know. That would suck though. You got knocked out because you got hit by lightning. Temporary you don't memory even think loss. About. Really? That's what it said. Yeah. yeah Which so that would back. be scary. He's like coming to and then being like, "We're on the we're on the we're on the top of a mountain." Yeah. You know. That's like, why did I do this? Part. I should be at home watching TV. It's interesting. So there must be some kind of obviously impact and then. Yeah, I suppose. Like quite surge literally, that zap, goes zap your, your body. brain. Yeah. Freaking like the thing in uh, Men in Black where they. I just saw a video of a, I really wish I would have saved it, but it was like just two rednecks. They're probably drunk. And this guy, I don't even know if he's peeing or just like trying to beckon the horses, but he falls forward (laughs) onto the electric fence, you know, like bends it over. He actually falls onto the trough. Oh my God. And then he falls forward. But I didn't know what he was doing because I didn't know it was electric. And then he's just like, he couldn't get up. Yeah. He's just on the trough. Let's say this is a trough, a bunch of wires. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. But you can't <laughs> grab them because then you'll get the... No, the worst part was the guy that was filming just was like... <laughs> <laughs> laughing. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure laughing at him. him. And he's literally like... Man, Did you guys have any electric fences around your farm? 
Yeah, but I rem- I don't remember. I did touch one, and it was like it was like getting tased. Dude. Scary, but I was like, whoa. Have you been tased? Yeah, yeah but not with like a real taser. You know, they oh, tased each other the Amazon, on the podcast. Yeah, Amazon tasers oh, yeah. and stuff. It was like that, but your whole body, and you're like, that was scary, but you weren't like injured. When I was a little kid, so my my mom's side of the family they had a farm, and I axed it like whenever me and my grandpa would go drive around on the four wheeler. And like look at the cattle and stuff. I would Quad like, guy. I'd hop off the four wheeler and uh, unhook the fence. I think I was hooking it back up or something. And when it hooked, I like brushed my arm against it, but it like zapped part. me and I dropped. Really? But I was like a little oh, kid. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it just scared me or what. So, but, but some like, are turned up more than others. It all depends. I on dropped. How much power I, you I remember dropping. It. That was really the only time I ever touched one. Wow. But I was young, so I'd probably been. I mean, elementary school, so I probably didn't have much strength, but... Yeah, I was such a baby. I was, Before yeah. the gym. But if you pee on an electric fence, it would get you. Yeah, Like, I'm if not, you pee on it... It's yeah. funny, I swear, people, like, old dudes or whatever, uncles... Everybody got to try to find no, out. No, not necessarily try, but they, I swear they warn you more about peeing on it than ever about touching it. They don't really, they're like... Ah, That's got to be such just a strange like, don't <laughs> 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 Yeah, I remember well, it yeah, I'm just like, your what? pee into your... Hole? Into your like Wiener. insides, like talk know? about getting you. Ugh, like that's some serious. <laughs> Maybe you could zap that third ball out of you. Yeah, then get another <laughs> Maybe a little about electric it. fence therapy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe that would help. Well, I feel like they warn you because it's obvious not to touch it, but like yeah. all of them either yeah. heard the story of their buddy that did it, and like you know it hurt, and so you don't want to see your little grandson. <sighs> His little pecker. That would zapped. be a pretty funny video, but I, obviously you couldn't really show it. But yeah, <laughs> peeing on an electric. Yeah, bed. I ended up giving Alex that uh, taser. She Even carries that. in her purse now. I was like, she, she had to use it. No, well, I don't. I don't think so. But I was just like, take this with you. I do taser. hear CJ occasionally, like in the middle of the night, just scream for no reason. No, that's. I just, always wonder is is that no, Alex tasing him? Or? No, no, that's, that's just that's uh, pegging. Yeah, that's pegging. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's uh, just nightmares. I feel like my dreams have been way more vivid and real and scary lately. I don't know what it is. Like, why do you like getting closer dream? to reality? Mm. Like you're driving that big truck down the road, right? <laughs> and it's driving this straight. Is a nightmare. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Oh. No, I gotta wake up. Nope. I did have one about lawn mowers this week. Oh. Pretty stressed about that whole ordeal, <laughs> but <laughs> just trying to get the people to there. And you yeah, know, it's just a lot I on did my a great mind. Job. I was, yeah. I was just thinking about it frequently. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think I kind of go through different different waves of having nightmares. They seem to, like, come, like, closer to each other. Yeah. And recently I haven't. That's but, nice. It's nice when you don't. But you, you deal with them frequently all the time? Um, Honestly, I typically, I only sometimes wake up from them. But, yeah, I hear about it more so. I have nightmares. I run around. Really? I stand up. I jump, I shout, I scream. Most common ones is he just like screams or shouts really loud. I'm not it'll, like it'll like jolt me. I'm but like, I'm oh not like gosh. I'm not like angry shouting. It's more so like I got scared. scared. Yeah. Like I'm like, ah, which is scared just as scary in the what middle you, of the night. What yeah. are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Oh no, that is a scary one to hear. You Ken's downstairs like I'm next. You don't remember any of them? Oh. Uh, sometimes, but I don't know. If it, if it wakes you up, I guess. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Or I'll be it. like, I'll like wake up and I'm like fucking digging in a drawer. I'm like, what am I doing? Better than peeing <laughs> in it. And then, I'm all, <laughs> <laughs> then I'm all mad. I'm like, God dang it. Now I got to, like, I'm all fired yeah, up now. Out, yeah, I'm like, yeah. no, I gotta try to wind down and go back to bed. What do we have here? I don't know if this is, this is a good podcast ender. It's just a, it's a real good time that I had yesterday morning before all the kids came over to mow our lawn. <laughs> he for sure dude, he for sure tried covering up his initial scare yeah, i think his yeah. initial scare was ah! but then he was like in the yeah. middle of screaming like that he's like oh shit <laughs> so then he Go tried on. playing it off like he was Go playing on. it up and he just held it longer he's like ah! to try and like so, make it seem like he and the word the funniest part is it's pretty much exactly what he said after it happened he goes that was like kind of real and then like i don't know <laughs> nothing better than scaring evan dude that poor kid <laughs> so is so easy dude, it's such it a is. tweaker dude i know i feel bad sometimes because you know you hate riling a guy i guess up, but... that that clip does remind me of some of the you know you'll see uh people make a compilation of scaring their aunt their mom whoever on tiktok with evan. some of them are like 
20 clips long and i just start to feel bad i'm like all right like let him let live, him live here yeah. <laughs> let the man live that's I'm- funny right after you did that though and then we went over to the farm he was standing <laughs> He was just standing, like, right on the driveway, right by the door. And me and CJ were just walking up. And I think there's some other stuff going on over here. He's right here, and we were coming from the other side, so he was looking that way. And we just walked up, and I go, all right, bro. And just me, like, getting close enough, and then him not knowing I was there and saying that, he was like, Jason, dude, yeah. you got you to, gotta, like, let me know you're coming up. <laughs> Well, I guess he is deaf on one ear, yeah, so that, that does that, that makes might sense. be part of it. I'm but so like, glad he that like, I'm not. Like, like jumped around and was like, "Dude!" I was like, "Bro, what?" <laughs> it was See, like I didn't even try and scare you. We on need this. to get him like a service dog that like will alert him <laughs> to surrounding threats. What kind of dog or, would it be? A wiener dog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just lets it's out like, like a singular. Ow. Yeah, <laughs> it just like looks and goes, Ow. Yeah, yeah. and then he goes like, "All right, great, something's happening." Yeah, but what yeah. if what if we got him a ser- the service dog, but then that dog was also eagle- easily spooked? Yeah. So then they were both just two jumpy little. They would be emotionally supporting each other. <laughs> well, guys, yeah, we good. Yeah, we're good. Vikings won today, so we're good. Yes, sir, oh, thank, dude. One in three, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're back, coming uh, back. Let's go. We're coming back. Let's go. Dude, we'll think- Sorry, never mind. Oh, thanks for listening, guys. Subscribe if you have not. Give us five stars on Apple Podcasts and Spotify Podcasts. And uh, thank you guys so much. We'll see you next week. Appreciate y'all. Peace.